So a couple of you are a little confused on how to get started on the binary search tree lab. So I thought we'd spend a couple minutes and just go over what you have and what's available to you. Again, uh, the specifications are going to be in, uh, in GitHub. And the characteristics of a binary search tree is the left subtree contains only nodes with values less than the node's value and the right subtree contains only nodes with values greater than the node's value. So uh, there can't be duplicate nodes and uh, each, both left and right subtrees are also binary search trees. In other words, they all have loads, nodes less than them to the left and nodes greater than them to the right. A uh, couple of uh, hints here uh, we'll talk a little bit about later, but it turns out that um, if it's a little easier, particularly for the next lab, if you use this strategy of finding the rightmost local node that does not have a right child and call it local root and then replace the data in the old root with the data in local root, this is the process for deleting. And then you call delete on the left subtree of the old root to delete the local root nodes. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but. Basically, you just need to be able to add nodes to the tree and remove and clear nodes and still make sure that the, um, the tree is a binary search tree, okay? So um, let's uh, go ahead and get started on some of the questions that I saw in, uh, that you guys had. Um, so first of all, the, the thing I would do to start with is to grab this uh, repository. Go ahead and clone it and uh, copy it and then go into your uh, your uh, uh, terminal and go ahead and do a git on it and then you, it should go ahead and create this BST lab directory. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it. Let's talk a little bit about what's in here, okay? Because this is a little bit confusing. What I tried to do was give you all the code that you would need uh, from the book to kind of understand what's going on, and then also to give you the template for uh, uh, doing what you need to. So if you look at the BST lab directory, you'll notice that you've got the BST interface.h which again is going to just have pure virtual functions. Here's the get root node, add and remove and clear. So you just need to inherit from this in your bst.h. Uh, again, this is going to be, so it's going to be a subclass of bst interface. And uh, you just need to put in the code for add and delete. And here we're going to go ahead and put those in bst.cpp. Uh, you need to fill in get root node. We just showed you how to get started here by um, implementing the add. So you can see how to do that. And, uh, and so uh, uh, kind of get you started. But then you'll need to do remove and clear as well as the other things. Okay. Now inside of this... Uh, Directory. So if you take a look at the make file, notice that in order to create BST, you need main.cpp, BST interface, node interface, BST.h, which is going to inherit from BST interface, BST.cpp, which is going to implement the functions in BST.h, and then node.h, which is going to inherit from node interface. Okay, so those are all the, the files that you're going to need uh, for your lab. Now, in addition to that, there's also the code from the book. So test binary search tree numbers.cpp and binary search tree and binary tree.h, bt no.h, preorder traversal are all files that you don't need to, you're not going to use in your project but they're just there to give you code samples that you can use. And indeed, here in the make file, you can go ahead and, uh, and compile this. 
if I say um, make and then compile that, it will go ahead and create a binary. You can run it and it will go ahead and show you what happens. So if I add, for example, a 5 to the tree, here is my tree. Its root is 5 and it has a null left and right pointer. If I add a 7, it's going to put a, so null is still on my left tree because it's less, but 7 is greater, so it is on my right tree, and here are its two children, okay? If I was to then add a 4, then you'll notice that he would, I would have 4 as my left child because he's less than me, 7 as my right child because he's greater than me. If I add something like 9, then that will be, um, so here's 7's left child, there's nothing there. Here's his right child is the 9 because that's greater than him. Uh, if I wanted to, I could put in something like a 6. You'll notice it then put that in for a 7's left child. And at each point, when we're figuring out where to put it, we're, when I try to put in the 6, I'm going to say, oh, 6 is greater than 5, so it's going to go down my right tree. Uh, 6 is less than 7, so it's going to go on his left tree. I don't see anything else there, so I'm going to put it in place. So I would encourage you to take a look at this and become familiar with how to add and take things away from uh, a binary search tree. If you put in a zero, it's going to start erasing things. So if I want to erase the five here, it's going to now uh, put the four in the place of the five. And really what it's going to do is it's going to find the thing, the node on the left that is, uh, has a right child that's null, replace it, and then delete that node. So that was the piece that we were saying in the hints. You might want to be careful on how you do it. Okay, so anyway, go ahead and uh, play around with that program. And please take note of the, uh, the book is now going to describe in detail this BT node class, which you have the, co the code for. Here is um, here's BT node, and it's going to have lots of uh, valuable stuff in there that you're going to want to put into your node. One thing that might be a little unfamiliar with you is here we're going to overload the less than less than operator so that you can go ahead and uh, just say uh, C out less than less than and one of these uh, BT nodes and it will go ahead and do the two string on it and send it right to standard out. So uh, C out. So that's uh, something you might take a look at but notice that these BT nodes they have a BT node pointer for my left child and my right child and then here's the constructor for it. Okay. So um, that's uh, part of it. Uh, if you wanted to, you can also take a look at the main.cpp here. And again, it's going to have a, uh, uh, a bunch of test code. I would suggest that before you do that, before you run any of this code, you go ahead and create your own test code. And I'm going to just say test code and in here I'm going to go ahead and create a new BST and then I can do things like um, call uh, <clears throat> um, remove and add so I can add a particular value here uh, let's say something pt bst ptr sub add a uh, five and I can try doing let's see what else can I do 
uh, parse instruction. I can also remove things. I can um, print the BST. So I can call, uh, send that out to the screen. And anyway, I just want to encourage you to create test code to make sure all your functions work before you actually run the pass off code. And you can go ahead and just put a return zero in here, which will keep it from running at the other code. So please do that. Don't just run the pass off code to try to test your code. It'll be very confusing. Okay, so now let's look at the code you need to do. So um, uh, you really need to do this bst.cpp, which is going to have the a get root node, and you're going to want to go ahead and return that. You're going to want to save the root node here um, inside of your BST class. And uh, here we've got it saved. So basically, to return it, all you need to do is return that. That will let main go ahead and call all these functions on it. Okay. Um, uh, I think I'm going to stop there because this is getting too long anyway, but hopefully that shows you which files you need to modify and uh, uh, we'll go ahead and let you uh, create uh, your your program. Okay, so we're going to need to do bst.h, bst.cpp, node.h, and node.cpp. Those are the ones that you're going to need to do something for. Okay. So with that, we'll let you get started.